Hey folks, Captain Dave here. This is a video that I'll be narrating. What I'm doing is I'm tidying up my fuel and battery, my fuel line and my battery cables going to my 15 Merc Pro Kicker. And you'll see what I'm talking about. These are Blue Seas cable clams. If you've never used these to, to go through a bulkhead or anything to the outside. These are absolutely excellent products. This is my sort of false transom and I'm loosening these up so I can pull the fuel line and the battery cable out of the inside of my transom there and I'm going to tidy these cables up a bit and you'll see what I'm talking about as we progress. I really like these Blue Seas cable clams. They really seem to be doing the job. I've used them other times on other boats. And you got to check them out. If you're trying to go with cables or hoses or anything from the interior to the exterior, they really seem to seal good. What it is, is you drill a hole through that rubber grommet and the way the rubber is shaped and then when as you put the two pieces together it squishes down on the cable or the hose or whatever you're you're passing through there and as you can see right here it is so tight just being on there a few months that that rubber grommet goes in on such an angle that as you put it to the backing part that you screw it onto, it squeezes down and makes a really tight fit. And here I am, I'm just trying to get the, the uh, battery cables out and I'm disassembling the cable, the cable clam, taking it off of that ring that's permanently mounted. You can see I can't even push it off with my fingers. Got to get in there and push, push, push. And then all of a sudden it pops out right there. Getting the hole diameter perfect so the rubber squeezes down on it. That's the trick. Just follow the directions that are on the packaging. That's all I ever do. I'm pulling the fuel hose out now. And I'm getting ready to actually tidy this whole project up by taking the battery and the fuel line and I'm going to put my anchor sleeve over it. See, I'm showing you here how as you tighten down, it squeezes down on the rubber squeezes down on whatever is passing through the hole. See, it's kind of a hockey puck, but it's got an angular part to it. And it goes in to that cup in a certain way. I just thought maybe it would be interesting if everybody saw these. That's the entire deal right there. I'm taking some of my anchor cover, my chain cover, and I'm going to use a piece of it to tidy up this battery and fuel line coming off of my kicker. It's just that I didn't like it being separate and being just held together, you know, in a bundle with uh, stupid zip ties or something. All right, right here is where I'm just going to tape the two ends together so I can put them through my chain guard sleeving and it works out really good 
All right, what I'm doing here is I'm actually taking both of the cables or both the battery cable and the fuel line and I'm sliding it through the same black stuff that I use as a chain guard for my anchor system. And the way this stuff works is that you slide it on and then you can pull each end tight and it gives it like a Chinese finger sort of a uh, way to it. It'll tighten down because it's a woven mesh and I'm just sliding it on and I want to get the fuel line and the battery cable for the 15 Merc Pro Kicker. I want to get those tidied up. So that's what I'm doing right here. You know, I'm really surprised nobody has ever really got down and dirty and asked me about this chain guard. It's really unbelievable great stuff. And uh, here I am. I'm folding over the ends. <laughs> And I got it on, and now I push the cables back through, and I'm putting the cable clams back onto my false transom there. But I guess everybody uses trolling motors these days, and nobody cares about their anchor. But I can tell you if you've got gel coat you want to protect, or if you don't want to hear chain banging on your aluminum boat, this chain guard, which is basically an idea from the Australians, um, I'll put a link below to where I get mine from Texas. But as you can see here, it also works for other things. Since I had a short piece, this came in real handy to put over that fuel line and battery cable for my kicker. Here I'm just going ahead and reinstalling the cable clams and they're screwed into the bases and that cup pushes down on the rubber grommet that you're sending your cable or your fuel line or whatever through and uh, I've got the chain guard on the fuel line and the battery cable and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave a zip tie a heavy duty zip tie the same thing you do when you put it on your anchor chain on the chain guard you can actually weave through with a heavy duty zip tie you can weave through the chain guard and in through the links on your chain well here I'm going to do that same thing but I'm going to weave a zip tie through as I'm doing right here I'm getting ready to weave a zip tie through and go around everything and it'll be nice and secure on each end I'm back up inside the boat now and I'm reinstalling the battery cables on my little small AGM absorbed glass mat battery that I keep in a nice little battery box. It's a U1 size battery, but it's a little AGM. Lots of power, lots of storage here. And I also have a separate battery charger just to plug in and keep this battery topped off at all times. The battery and the battery charger just sit in my back hatch back there alongside my fuel filter. It doesn't really go anywhere so uh, everything works out pretty good and it's very accessible. I just reach in that hatch and I pull the battery and the battery charger right out. All right, well, here I'm buttoning everything back up. I'm putting the battery back in this hatch along with the charger. You 
goes in right there alongside my fuel filter. And I'm just straightening everything up and finishing up this job. It turned out very well. You know, it's a constant, constant improvement. That's what I'm always wanting to do. I'm always doing it with simple little things. Here I'm pumping up the bulb, going to the kicker, and getting the fuel back flowing through the line. Well, here is the end product. The fuel and the battery. I'm wanting to keep those tidy and that anchor chain guard really worked out. Here's another look from another angle. A job well done and I'm happy. Remember to check the video description below for a list of links of items I used to do this simple job that now gives extra protection to my kicker fuel line and battery cables. And thanks for watching.